All right, everybody, Mad Hatter Pops back at you again. So today I'd like to explain about a series I would like to start. Um, I was calling it Hatter's Pops in Nature, but I'd like to call it Hatter's Pops in the Wild. So throughout the video, you will hit here in nature, but I would like to change that. So I will change that in the title actually. Um, but what it is, is I'm just gonna kind of do behind the scenes footage of me going out into nature with the Pops and showing you kind of the process of what I do. Um, I'll impose the pictures in the video, but I'd like to tie my Instagram in as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me. It's Mad Hatter Pops, all one word. Um, you'll definitely get better quality videos or better quality pictures when you go onto the Instagram. Also, um, I will do another intro when I do get there. So if I repeat myself a lot, I do apologize. Um, I wasn't planning on doing an intro here as well. So without further ado, here's episode number one of Hatter's Pops in the Wild. All right, everybody, Mad Hatter Pops here. So what I'm gonna do today, actually, for the first time, I'm actually gonna start Hatter's Pops in Nature series. So I brought three pops with me. I'll show you those in a little bit. We'll walk around, see what we can find, hopefully get some good shots. I really do want to tie it in with my Instagram so then you can get a better close-up of the pictures that I take. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, definitely follow me at Mad Hatter Pops, all one word, and let's find out what we find today. All right, everybody, so I'm out here on this beautiful day, nice and sunny. It's really hot, about 88 degrees right now. I'm going to show you the three pops that I did bring with me. Let's check them out. So, we did bring... I believe it's Angus. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly from Raya. I brought the Dilophosaurus and Scar. So I'm not sure exactly which one we're going to use or if we're going to use all three today. So let's continue trekking and see what we find. Alright guys, I did have to get a shot of this. It is pretty beautiful out here. I do apologize. There is a little bit of traffic noise, but it is pretty gorgeous out here for sure. I actually know of a little hidden path over in this direction over here that we're going to go check out next and see if we can get some good shots. Alright, so as I was walking over to the spot that I was just pointing out earlier, I saw this little area over here and I'm thinking that this might be a good place for Scar. Have him kind of peeking out from inside the bushes. So I'm going to pull him out of my backpack and uh, see what we can do. All right, so it looks like I found the spot to place Scar. I'm going to show you an up-close shot of it. Um, like I said before, I am going to post it on Instagram, so if you do want to get a better shot of what it's going to look like, but he is going to be in there. So I will try to impose a picture right about now for you, but otherwise definitely check out the Instagram for the other shots. Alright guys, so I just finished up with the pictures of Scar right over there. Um, I do apologize again about the traffic, can't help that. But I did find the path that I was talking about, so let's go check it out. So yeah, this is the path. I know a few people know about it, but... I'm sure we can find some pretty good spots in here. It's beautiful out. I love this. Keep trucking a little bit. Alrighty. So I've come across a few promising places. Nothing I haven't set on yet. I'll definitely go back. But walking along and then I found this fun little <laughs> steep hill that'd be a heck of a heck of a hill for sledding that's for sure all right so i think we might have just found the spot for the ray of pop right on this ledge over here i think i'm gonna try to get over there and see what we can do with them be right back with you Alright guys, so I'm not sure if you can see this pretty awesome steep hill that I'm on right now. But I did find a spot. I think this is going to look great. Check it out. So we'll get some shots like this. 
you know? And I'll let you know how it turns out. Alright everybody, I'm back. Just finished up taking the photos of the Angus Pop in this extremely safe spot that I was standing in. Um, I'm going to keep going a little bit more. As you can see, I'm really hot, red, looking like a million bucks, but we're going to keep on going. Okay, now this is looking pretty promising right here, actually. I think we are going to do another Angus in there. Let's see. I think that might work out, so I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, I'm extremely happy with how those photos turned out. I'll definitely try to insert them here, but again, I definitely want to make sure I mention for sure go over to the Instagram and check them out because I'm sure it's going to be much better quality. But yeah, I'm going to keep on walking, but I really am excited about this series that I want to start doing. Really like to start going out into nature more and bringing some pops with me and see what we can find, you know. It's nice to show the process as well, and I definitely would appreciate any feedback that you guys have, and if you're enjoying this series so far, and any uh, changes you think I could make. Man, there's a lot of little steep drop downs over here, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, let me know. I'm gonna keep looking around, see if I can find any more. All right, y'all. I think I found a spot I would like to put the Dilophosaurus. Let's see if we can get over there. I am thinking that he is going to be going in here. I like this background right there. So let's see how it turns out. All right, so I figured I'd do a little more behind the scenes on this one. I actually brought this little light with me just in case. I actually think it's gonna come in handy for this shot. But uh, pretty soon here, I'll uh, show you the aftermath. All right, everybody, so I just finished up the photos of the Dilophosaurus. I'm going to start my trek back down. It's starting to get a little cloudy, actually. I'm hot. I'm sweating. I know. I look great. But I'll meet back up with you as soon as I get back down to the bottom. Thanks. All right, everybody, this is going to conclude my first episode of Hatter Pops in Nature. I hope you all enjoyed it. Definitely check out my Instagram. It's Mad Hatter Pops, all one word. I'll be linking this in the video together. I kind of want to do a simultaneous type deal. Um, definitely let me know down below in the comments any um, ideas that you might have or anything that I could do better. Also, if you think I've earned it, please do subscribe and definitely hit that like button. Thanks again.